guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lei, for those of you who are new. I like to keep a mix of colorful looks and neutral looks just because, you know, you never know who's watching. It's your prerogative, you do what you wanna do. In today's video, I'm coming, I'm gonna be doing this look. I actually wanted to do a quick mini haul because one of the products that I use today is actually, I actually just got it from Ulta. So I know I told you guys how much I love the Morphe mini palette and that is actually what I picked up from Ulta. So this is the neutral territory palette and this is the main eyeshadow palette that I used for my eyes today. I actually used I think three or four of the colors in here. It's very neutral, very pretty, perfect for every day and all year round and I say that because it's spring, we're getting into summer where, you know, there's a lot of times where sometimes you just wanna do a look and run up out the door and that is pretty much what this is for. I could see a lot of these colors, you just using them on their own and I might actually do a video where I just do one eyeshadow or one or two eyeshadows just to, you know, vamp it up, vamp up the look. But here's a neutral one for all my natural slash neutral beauties. So here we go nice and neutral very easy and then I love color so I had to throw in a pop of color and putting it on your lower lash line whatever color you want it to be is the easiest way to vamp up a look add a little bit of color you can see I'm very spring forward if you get like do you, do you see what I'm saying like it's very it goes with the season like I'm still neutral but I got a little pop of color so do you feel me? I think you feel me. Okay. Just gonna briefly go through what else I got. So them feet, them toes. I got another foot peel. I actually did a foot peel on my foot maybe like a month ago and it actually, it didn't like 100% work, but it did work. And I know these take like two weeks. So here's my dilemma. It's already warm and I wanna wear my sandals but I wanna give it like a good clean, you know what I mean? I want that dead skin to come off because I am very prone to calluses. I am very prone to like dry heels, I guess because I walk on my heels or whatever. But these actually really work. I usually get the ones from Target. This one I got from Ulta. It's from the Tony Molly brand. And I don't know if this works. Let me know if y'all want to see a video to see if it works because if I'm going to do it, I got to do it now because right now it's still that in between like it gets cold and like I might need to do it today so that in the next 10 days like my feet will be good. And the next thing I got, if you're wearing makeup, you need to make sure that your skincare is on point. So I've been doing masks twice a week. So it's for um, clear skin because that's what I want. I got another Tony Molly brand face mask. I have been loving these sheet masks where you just put them on and you throw them away and I don't have to go and wash my face again. So I mean, it's probably me being lazy, but I love these. This is the I Am Rice, uh, the clear skin one. So that'll be fun. I go to the gym now. I Well, I've started going back to the gym because you know, <laughs> quarantine, that girl put on some pounds. So, um, Every now and then I like to take a bubble bath or an Epsom salt bath. So I love bath bombs now. And I I mean, I don't like to spend a lot of money on bath bombs. So this is the Margarita bath bomb. And this is by the Da Bomb bath brand. And you get these at Ulta. Clearly. The next few items are like re-ups and things that I needed. So I got some new brushes. I got this little flash flat silicone brush and I'm really curious that probably would have done a really good job with this it's for packing on product this is the M760 and this is just a really interesting looking brush and then I also got um, the M438 no 33 M433 that's for blending and then I got another M213 that is because I like to pack a lot of shadows with a smaller brush especially when I'm using color that one is a little more loose so it can I can also blend out the edges and not have to use such a big brush and yeah that's all I got from Ulta all right so let's go ahead and jump into the video 
All right, guys, so to start off, we're going to have a fresh face. I did my brows and one eye off camera just so I can have an idea for what I'm doing. Like I told you guys, I'm using the T9 palette by Morphe. We're going to get a little closer. I'm going to start by prepping my eye using my P. Louise base. I believe this is in 03. It's almost like a concealer color, just slightly lighter. And I'm patting that on my eyelid. I've been using some new techniques, and I really feel like they have helped step my makeup game up another level. So this is what the palette looks like. It's really pretty. It's like a orangey brown shade. And the first shade I'm going in with is called Pack. It's a really deep brown, um, almost like a chocolate brown. Mm, I would say chocolate or coffee brown. That's more the vibe it's giving me. And I'm almost like shaping out what I want, almost like a C. And then I'm blending it out. Now I did this look back in April and I'm only just now posting it. So some of the techniques I'm doing in this, I'm not doing in future videos or videos that you see later on, which is really funny because like that was April. It's now like at the time of this voiceover, it's May 31st. So I'm going into June and I've already changed up my technique. But nevertheless, this is actually a pretty good technique overall if you really pay attention. So I pat the color on and then I take the brush and blend it out. Then I go in with another brush and I'm going in with the shade Open Mind just to blow it out even more and give it a transitional like color type situation. So you want it to go from that dark brown to the medium brown. And then so that this video is really easy, I'm not cutting the crease. I'm just kind of cleaning it up so that when I place the eyeshadow on there, it shows up and it doesn't have like, you know, dark areas. So this is straight up and it's really pretty. Um, it's almost like a champagne, more on the light side of the gold shimmers spectrum. So this is really like shimmery. You can actually really just take this on your finger and put it all over your lid, put on some mascara and you'll be good to go. But, you know, we're, we're getting fancy over here, so I did add the color to the outside, to the outer corner. For lashes, I'm going in with the BYL Cosmetics. You guys know I am a huge advocate for the BYL Cosmetics. I absolutely love their lashes. They are my favorite. It's almost like all I wear. It's rare that you see me in something else. So I wanted to try the new like TikTok technique that I saw where you put like your um, concealer, bronzer, and you use lipstick for blush. So that's what I'm doing here. So I went ahead and I added the concealer, but then I realized I didn't prime my face. So instead of wiping off my concealer and, you know, looking a complete fool, I am going to apply my primer around everything so this is the elf minted um, primer you guys know I've been loving this jelly primer and I'm just going to use my fingers and blend that into the areas that I don't have concealer so you know the concealed areas are technically not really concealed because there is no primer underneath but nevertheless it did last pretty long like you know I had a good run with it if you get my drift so I'm just mixing that in with my fingers to warm up the product it still got tacky where it needed to get tacky and I didn't really have any patchiness um, I do have a video on the foundation that I used so I was using Fenty product Fenty Beauty products and I'm going in with the Fenty Beauty Matte Matchstick. I use this all the time at one point because it is one of my favorite cream bronzers. I think it just blends so well and it doesn't really, like when you use like a stick foundation, it can be a little overpowering, whereas this Matte Matchstick is not like that. So I'm blending out my concealer and since it had been sitting there for so long, it was a little stiff and difficult to move. So just keep that in mind. If you do want fuller coverage concealer, leave it on for a little bit. Let it like dry down a little bit and then blend it out. It'll definitely give you more coverage. So now I'm taking an e.l.f. angled brush and I'm blending out my bronzer. As you can see, when instead of like, like, okay, get it out, lay. When I use like my foundation stick, it's a lot harder, whereas right here I'm patting it in and it's literally melting into my skin. Not saying that there's anything wrong with using foundation, I'm just saying, just giving you the difference, the pros and cons to using foundation as opposed to a stick that is specifically, um, what's the word? It's, you know, it's for contouring, you know, like that's the demographic for it. 
So I did use the Milani lipstick in, I can't remember, it'll be in the description box to do my blush. And then this is my foundation. I will have a link in the cards to my foundation review for this. I just like a little rundown i love this foundation it is great for the summertime because it is one of those dropper foundations so it's very liquidy and nice but if you want more detail on it and a wear test i will have that linked in the cards and down in the description so to set underneath my eyes i'm going in with the morphe banana setting spray it's their bacon set setting spray <laughs> bacon set setting powder and i'm just of course you know normal areas and then I'm going to contour my nose using that same matte matchstick by Fenty Beauty. Ooh, it has been a day girl let me tell you I'm trying to figure out what to do with my hair I don't I just don't know. So now I'm going to actually be baking with this powder. I am taking a sponge or this is like a puff and I'm going to place it in the areas that I want to bake easy peasy lemon squeezy so I'm just patting that underneath my eyes I do get my chin I do contour the side of my face a little bit and I think I got my forehead I might not have I don't remember for bronzer I'm going with my makeup revolution medium bronzer this is their matte bronzer and I'm just going over the areas that I applied the matte matchstick the great thing about this is having the cream underneath does help the product to pop more and last longer sometimes with um, powder products they don't last as long you know going throughout the day but doing it like this does make it last really long and I'm adding it to you know my double chin for some reason when I gain weight I gain it in my face and when I lose weight I lose it in my face <laughs> so I'm using the Milani blush in romantic rose this is such a pretty lightweight blush it's a really pretty color if I use if I didn't use um, my bronzer I could have just went with like just this blush and it would have been so cute so now I'm dusting away my setting powder and I'm pressing it in so that I have a nice highlighted look and then for my actual highlight I'm going in with mean money this is the Fenty Beauty kilowatt highlighter and mean money is the one that is a little more toned down whereas I believe it's Hustler Baby is really bright and it stands out so I just wanted to do something really simple I did use Hustler Baby on my nose just because I kind of really like that highlighted look in the center of my nose so I did do that for underneath my eyes I'm using this LA girl um, eyeliner you know they have a bunch of colors and I just love the colors the color that I use under my eyes today is called fresh it's so pretty it's like a teal blue or like an ocean blue I don't really know how to explain it it's just really beautiful and then I went in with this light blue from my um, ice cream bundle palette I've been using this palette a lot I didn't think I would get much use out of it considering the fact that all the shades are pastel but if you know anything about me you know I love pastel anything so I've been finding ways to incorporate this palette in everything so once my lashes are coated with mascara I can go ahead and set the rest of my face sometimes when you add a lot of powder your face can feel really like tight and like there's no moisture so this just helps to add it back and this um, ColourPop one has I believe it's salicylic acid in it or hyaluronic acid I think it's hyaluronic acid because that adds moisture so um, I'm taking this little mini fan that I got off my Amazon and just helping it dry for lips I'm going in with Toasty by Morphe and then I mean for my lip liner and then for gloss I wanted to keep it in the Fenty Beauty family but I didn't want to use you know the regular gloss bomb so I used the shade Honey Waffles this is the cream lip gloss and that pretty much completes this look I really hope you all enjoyed this video please make sure to like share subscribe to my channel if you care and until next time beauties stay blessed